Today's word of encouragement is being taken from the book of Psalms, where David tells us in Psalm 34 at verse 4, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. This really is a a comforting passage to me, because David was familiar with times of trouble and concern and, and being anxious about his safety, whatever it might be. He went through numerous trials in his life, but he knew where to turn. He knew where his confidence uh, was to be found. And the first thing we see him doing is seeking the Lord. Now that can be done in different ways. We can seek the Lord by reading his word as we should. We can seek him in worshiping him as we should. We can seek him by gathering with, with other saints, and maybe going to someone we have confidence with to help us in a difficult time. But I think what uh, David's emphasizing here is seeking the Lord in prayer. He took his trouble to God, laid it out before him, let him know what he felt about whatever situation he might have been facing. And being able to let the Lord deal with that. Just having the confidence in God that he'll take care of it. And the comforting thing, comforting thing is, is David says, he heard me. Mm-hmm. This is how God will respond to our prayers. That's, this is why he wants us to turn to him. He wants us to express our concerns, to bring our cares to him. Not because he needs the information, but because he wants us to express that to him because we're going to be demonstrating our trust in him to deliver and to answer that prayer. And it's going to deepen the relationship between us. I go to God because I need to, not not necessarily because he needs me to. He knows what's going on. But I need to understand what's going on in my life. I need to understand where I need to take that problem. I need to know how to take it to him in the avenue of prayer that he's invited us to to partake in. He wants it because he wants to develop that relationship. That's right. And he wants us t- to not only be aware of the problem, but also be aware of the deliverance that he will give. Because David says, he delivered me from all my fears. He, he did this. He answered my prayer, and I saw what happened. Now, he might not have been immediately delivered from that trial. Um, For example, when David ran from Jerusalem to escape Absalom's rebellion and usurping of the throne, God didn't lift him out of that immediately. But over time, he took care of it. But what he does say is, he he delivered me from my fears. When we take our our concerns and our cares to God in prayer, confident that he's going to hear, then I don't need to worry about it anymore. I may still be in this situation. Whatever is afflicting me or, or causing me concern is still going to be there. But I'm not afraid of it now. It's in God's hands. I can't do anything about it. And I've taken it to him, and I know that he'll deal with it. That's right. Jesus makes the point uh, your earthly fathers, you being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, then God the Father knows even greater uh, how to give those things to you and to take care of those things. And as you said, there's a great comfort in just knowing that I have prayed to the Lord about this particular thing, and, and sometimes that requires more than one for us, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. Jesus prayed three times in the garden. Mm-hmm. The Apostle Paul prayed three times that his thorn in the flesh should be removed. Uh, it's not a lack of faith. It is a continual conversation with God and to share those things with him. And it, for prayer and as you, all the good things you pointed out, there's so much of that found in the book of Psalms. And I, another part of you know the Lord listening, Psalm 56 in verse 8 says, You number my wanderings, you put my tears into your bottle. Are they not all in your book? So you talk about pain and anguish and that we shed tears and, and we're scared, we're worried. There are all kinds of things that happen to us. But God's shown us a picture of what he's doing on the other side, that, that our tears, that they're numbered, they're counted, he's with us, you know. 
Um, as you said, salvation doesn't come just because you prayed in faith, um, as we see with all the other Bible characters, but it is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that, that guards our hearts and our minds, that I don't have to be afraid. You've removed the fear from my life because I am your child. I'm, I am a part of the kingdom of heaven, and you know what I'm going through, and I trust you. And that, I mean, Job says it, though he slay me, yet yeah, I will trust him. I mean, yeah. what an amazing passage. Yes. So that, that, is, that is such Tremendous an awesome thing. Tremendous declaration of faith. And that's what we need to have. It, that's why the Bible tells us this is why God allows trials into our life, so our faith will be deepened, mm. will be purified, will be more readily driven to turn to him. We'll seek his deliverance, and our trust will be in him to provide that deliverance. And when we're aware of that, uh, when he has delivered us, it's a beautiful thing because then we can say, that's what God did. He heard my prayer. It wasn't overnight because that is not normally God's doing. That's not the way he works it because there are things he's doing in our life to make us better people, to make us more like his son Jesus. But we can look back and see, wow, God, That was amazing how God worked that out. Well, now we can lift up our voices in prayer to thank him and praise him for his wisdom and his deliverance and and see the wonderful things that he can do in our lives.